Okay, and remember this is the meatball and it's pretty much we we do know that it's the meatball now and you can see it very easily. And I'll just make this real fast cuz where I'm not I'm going to put play, I'll let you play the time and the speed it's going, but you as you can see the meatball and that's what it is. This actually saves Earth's life all the time because the idea that this keeps everything that's a rogue planet or object away from and it gives a nice huge path. Who knows how huge this damn thing is. You just figure the distance between the Sun and Venus. Okay, because Venus is right up there flaring its ass off. Okay, that's v Venus because Mercury's marked over here. And the Sun's flaring like crazy. A comet came by. Uh, you don't really have it in this footage. Uh, I really shouldn't say that because next thing you know the comet will show up in the footage and I didn't know it. But I just froze it real fast for the meatball. As you can see the meatball, it's not really energy off the super giants like I was kind of wondering if it was. It uh, Now, the stuff that we're seeing on uh, from the core, then it shows this coming in. But we do know that this is part of the sun and the electrical magnification of our solar system. This object is one of possibly two, okay, because... The physicist for NASA that passed away said that there was three suns in our solar system. Okay, now is there one? Is that the third one smaller than this? Who knows? The electrical energy what you'll see off of this and what you've seen what I've already posted tonight shows the electrical energy popping off this thing. You know, like a wave hitting the shore of Earth mass. Okay, on Earth. Okay, that's electrical energy. It's not flames. It is heat. It's electrical static through the through the uh, through space, this is space weather, okay. But this thing is not just an energy wave. This is the meatball, one of the meatballs, okay. Uh, so I've showed you pictures of it before. I'm not sure if it's the exact same one. The picture that I showed you before is of a huge meatball that looks like it's had hu two huge meatballs hit its hugeness, which is huger than those two meatballs. I've showed you that, and I'll show you that footage again tomorrow because I'll make another video showing this, but I was able to get the 17th to pop up. Then, so we'll play this movie now, and that's basically Venus up there doing that action. And remember, you got Mercury over here, and it's listed. Okay, so what we'll do is we will pop down in size, or actually, we'll, we'll just hit play on this, and then go up and down a little bit. But I want to hurry up and try to save this thing to it so it loads fast. And there's it. Now, we got it going backwards, okay? But basically, uh, I gotta make sure we're going. Yeah, that's how it comes in actually. Okay, Earth's safe because Earth is all the way over to the right. You see, Earth is way over here, past Mercury and around the front side of the Sun. So you ain't gotta worry about the world coming to an end. So, and this thing comes around quite often. We've seen it, and Soho. Everybody that watches Soho has seen this for quite a while. So. This ain't nothing to do with the Mayan calendar and the world ending and the, that's all bogus. And look at the time in the lower right. We ain't, the world ain't ending anytime soon. And I've never even gave you guys any Mayan, you can go through all my videos, I never gave you the Mayan prophecy of the world ending or anything. Okay? So you're seeing the wild and the, you're actually pretty much seeing the rotation. And I showed you in the other video at the very end I was basically showing the pointing at Venus way up there from the Earth showing you the Earth shot and you can see there now I'm not sure on the you have to basically I'll, I'll try to find I'll put it all together I just did this real fast tonight because I got in popped in and there I was at so we get 24 hours on this one so I'm not sure if we got 24 hours on the other shot okay so we'll still have this as we get the 18th, I probably should be able to hopefully get the 18th tomorrow sometime. Okay. So, there is the meatball. It, ex it, it exists, ladies and gentlemen. It's huge. It's flipping huge. It's better. It's bigger than the sun. Okay. And basically, all those stars that are down there, you, you say, well, why doesn't it hit them? Because it's constantly went around the sun and it has this path. That's why we have such huge distances between us and Venus. So we will be able to, with Mercury and the Sun, be able to get an idea of how huge this thing is, okay? 
Now, there is an object that's 747 times the size of the sun out there in space, okay? That's known object. It's the biggest object they've ever found. I think they found that from the telescope looking farther away than this, but I'm not positive, but this could be a relative of it. So we'll get a size down pretty good on this damn thing pretty soon because basically we know it's up close by the sun. We've seen it there before, but we now we finally get a shot to be able to measure it off Venus at a good angle. So we're going to be able to get the size of it real good. You see what I'm saying? And I had it froze there for you earlier, so back up the tape because I'm not going to waste my time trying to freeze it in the exact spot. And then I'm going to hurry up and load this up. Okay? So there's your rotations of Venus doing that, and I'll pop down on size real fast here. And the other video, go watch that I loaded up before this one tonight that's already loading, and you're going to like that one because basically you'll see a way more huge CME action from the sun. I think I can go to 150 with it and get pretty much all this in. Mm, no, can't. I have to go down to 125. Can we get it all at 125 if I zoom up? There's the clock. I'll end up cutting a little bit off the magnetical rope of Venus. There you go. So we'll play around with it, slow it down and everything, and count the revolutions and stuff like that that Venus does in 24 hours. But it looks like really quick. It just looks like it does on... Remember, it goes clockwise. Earth goes counterclockwise, see? Venus is rotating clockwise, you see. Earth rotates counterclockwise. So basically when you've seen Earth flaring on the last video, that's pretty much the same thing. But we do it at more of right at our equator. Okay? Earth does it way more at the equator. So let me get this up, because this is the latest and greatest. And then we'll have the blue shots too that we'll take a look at.